Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the Minister ML Kimball. I'm going to make this very, very short and sweet. Uh, please like, share, and comment on this video if you have not already had a chance to do so. Uh, don't forget to visit us online at www.kns-ministries.org. For all of you that have supported us, I do thank you. If you choose to send us a donation, you can do so by using our cash tag at DonateKNSMIN. Now, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick so I can get right to the, top, the topic of who we are going to be dealing with on this episode of uh, This is a Scam. I want to deal with this guy right here. You guys see this guy in every single video. He's now on BET. And, uh, you know, and my issue with this is the fact that the church is the one that brought this guy and made him a billionaire, brought him into public eye. And he has not done anything as a role model besides showed our young boys how to dress up in drag. Now, I need to know for my own purposes, what is anything any different between this guy and RuPaul. How is there any difference? This guy is putting on a wig, women clothes, women clothing, and, and dressing up like this, and this is what we think is funny. And the problem is, it's the church that sanctions this crap and says that this kind of behavior is okay when the Most High is against it. Now, I want you guys to see what this character said. While taking the Vanity Fair lie detector test, Tyler Perry revealed that he sometimes uses his Medea voice during sex. He was asked if he had accidentally used his Medea voice during a conversation where he was hesitant to answer the question. He then went on to say sometimes. So this guy has a problem with turning into a woman, even in the bedroom. The, the, if you don't think that there's something wrong with this guy, I don't know what is. How, what have we come to, to where we allow this to be what we call a role model? If your son walked in your room and said, I feel like dressing up like a woman and putting on girls clothes, are you going to let him do so? Because, it, because he looks up to Tyler Perry. This guy is confused and ridiculous. And the fact that the Christian church is namely Bishop uh, TD fakes allowed this guy in the pulpit to lay hands on him. This guy is a fake falsified scam who can't stop dr dressing up like a woman. Now let's see what the scripture says about this. Cause I'm really sick of this. I don't even want to talk about this dude long. Deuteronomy 22 and five says the woman shall not wear that, which it pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto Yahuwah. So what, what I need to know is how does that make Tyler Perry any different? That doesn't mean because you got a bunch of money. doesn't mean because you're a billionaire. doesn't mean because you're a celebrity. He said, if you dress up in clothing pertaining to a woman, you are committing an abomination. So Tyler Perry, I don't care what you say. You're a ridiculous guy. And you have confused so many people. And you're not a role model, especially for our young boys. I'm the Minister ML Kimball. Be blessed on purpose.